Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 10, Thoughts. This episode is called The Patriot, another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Let's dive right in. So yeah, it's very clear Daisy is not super comfortable with, you know, Mace standing there praising her. And yeah, love the little, you know, Coulson looks up and is like, oh, that's weird. We're supposed to have an agent on that roof. And, you know, Daisy sees the, the light reflected in the sniper scope. And, yeah, very cool <clears throat> when Mace throws the the thing to stop the bullet. Or, yeah, he, he picks up the thing to stop the bullet and then he throws the thing because it's blowing up. When Mace didn't continue, it's, you know, he didn't join Daisy in attacking, I think it was Burroughs said something like, Sir, you're on the clock. And, you know, when I first watched that scene, I was like, really? Mace is not going to help try to try to save people's lives here because, you know, I don't know, the the... That's not supposed to, you know, that's not in his schedule right now or something. But no, that's because he was using up his super strength. And if he proceeded, it would reveal to the world, since the press is there, that he has no super that, you know, that it's not inherent like other, like, yeah, like actual inhumans. And yeah, I like the little things with Ada's head, you know, the... This this scientist is going over. You know, I don't know. You know, Fitz said we we had to find answers, and you know, Gemma makes a very ominous statement and walks away. And then the person like picks up a little bit of fabric and covers the head in it, like like the head is going to like attack her or something. Just yeah. And let's see. Yeah, I, I like, Daisy says, you know, so you were using explosive bullets. You can't buy those at Walmart. Yet. And, yeah, um, you know, phase one was only 13%. No, yeah, 13% probability of success. Very cool line. And the door flies right off the plane. So, yeah, I don't know. It was, Maybe, was it Spirit? They're flying Spirit, or whatever the... I, I swear I had no idea that I would be covering this episode, which has that, which, again, I didn't even know until just watching it, now, watching it just now. It's so close to these stories about, you know, doors flying off planes in midair and such. Stories? Story? Whatever. And, yeah, Mace says the, the number one priority is to find Burroughs. And, yeah, you know, it's very clear there's, okay, there's something going on. Why is he, why is that the thing that, yeah. And, yeah, May wakes up, but, you know, and, and uh, Ada, like, grabs her by the throat and, you know, does manage to to they they manage to subdue her, and and give her the injection. I I quite like you know she's about to kick, uh, Radcliffe and you know we know how effective her kicks are, but Ada grabs her I think like foot or leg or something, and then injects her into the leg, and that is very clever because there's very large blood veins in the in the leg, so that's you know. There's, there's people who have died because part of their leg was cut off and they couldn't stop the bleeding. So that's a very effective way to get drugs into the, the bloodstream. And I quite like... <laughs> so, yeah, um, you know, Ada's like, I mean, I did what you asked, you know... And he's like, I, I didn't... You know, yeah, but you killed a guy and then they found the body. And she's like... Next time I'll do a better job disposing of the body, which... Okay, Ada, there is a very long list of things that 
a robot's maker never wants the robot to say. And at the very top of that is, I know I killed someone without you saying, but I promise I'll do a better job disposing of the body next time that happens. That is just, no, that's, that, you know the, the, was the three laws of robotics? That's law number four. You know, that's like, oh god. And, yeah, um, Radcliffe points out, you know, part of the thing with the, you know, El May D is that she does not know that she's a robot. She thinks that she's a person. And <laughs> there, I've upgraded you to Day Glow Pink or whatever. And Hail to the Chief plays. That's a, yeah, 100% Talbot is someone who would have the, that ringtone. As, like, I get wanting a specific ringtone to make sure that you don't, like, keep the president waiting. But really, you needed it to be Hail to the Chief. And, yeah, it becomes clear that the thing Mace is so obsessed with is the case. And... Yeah, good scene about, you know, Fitzsimmons talking about what they're going to do about the robot. And, yeah, Fitz is like, the mistake was not bringing you into it. Because I do think that if the two of us work together, I think we could solve this problem, you know. And she legitimately does think, no, this is, you know, robot Nix. And... Yeah, very cool. Oh, right, right, yeah, this is when... In the episode when when May wakes up and yeah they realize later they they have to like the um you know it she she freaked out because she didn't believe the the tranquility of the saying how hot were those stones and now you know no we'll we'll just we'll make sure it's chaotic the the visions that she's yeah. Are you speaking English? <laughs> okay, stop being so melodramatic. What was it? Um, ah, crap. I, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I'll, I'll find it. Uh, uh, let's see. It's, it's... No, never mind. Uh, moving on. <clears throat> Yeah, um, we, yeah, uh, uh, Simmons realizes, you know, oh, P Project Patriot is why you're trying to keep me from looking at this, you know, because now I have the, you know, I'm one of three people, and I'm the only one who won't lie about it, who has access to this, and, you know, you've been trying to keep me from, you know, how about you tell me the truth, or I read it, Allowed. Clear the room. Well, I mean, Talbot, you could do that with your charm. You don't have to, you don't need anybody else's help to accomplish that. And yeah, it's revealed, you know, Mace doesn't actually have powers, and the th stuff that they use to give him super strength is some of the same. You know, steroids on steroids is some of the same that was used on Cal, Daisy's father. Like, wow. Just, we took the bad stuff out. And <laughs> Simmons posing as a, this is like torturer is, is very fun. Because, you know, she really doesn't look that intense. But, yeah, you know, put a, put a, seemingly decapitated human or a decapitated seemingly human head next to yeah it's that's very intense very intimidating and mace says i could go toe to toe with you all day so that's i guess the the off brand version i i guess even with steve rogers yeah at this point in the mcu he's like 
you know, a fugitive, you know, they, they, maybe he owns the, the copyright to I Can Do This All Day. And it's not an axe, but it'll do. And yeah, fighting the, the hedge clippers and then May comes in, joins in with a shovel. Very, very cool. Very fun. Let's see. It's, you know, she, she would be more happy, like, fighting a dragon or something. You know, should, should I design a dragon? I'd like a program with a dragon, please. And, yeah, Fitz, in secret, downloads Ada, and she, you know, the decapitated head creepily answers. Thank you, Fitz. Just, yeah. You know, maybe we should keep the head around in case you need to play Godfather some other time. Is it weird that I find that attractive? Yes. Agreed. I don't agree with some uh, Gemma Simmons on absolutely everything, but I 100% agree. It is very weird. And at least Fitz is aware enough that he, like, you know, actually is, is he's the one to ask. Is that weird? <clears throat> and yeah, they talk about, you know, with Mace, they were trying to find the new Captain America. And yeah, uh, Coulson gets the truth about the picture. I quite appreciate that he got to... to to reveal the truth on his own terms. I, I don't think it would have been as effective if Simmons had, like, you know, she, she blackmailed him by telling him, I know the truth about you. You know, if she had been the one to reveal it to, to Colson, for example, you know, Mace, at the end of the day, is trying to be a good person. You know, he... So, so yeah, letting him reveal it. And, you know, he says, I'll, I'll resign, you can have the job back. That's not nothing. And, yeah, Coulson says, I call the shots from now on. And then the post credit scene, we get the existential dread of L. May D. Real, you know, she, she's like, pick, you know, yeah, she's like opening the wound to check on it. And there's, like robot parts underneath. Yeah, that's... Yeah, really looking forward to seeing that play out over... Yeah, next episode or future episodes or something. That's... Yeah. And I, I quite appreciate that she does actually get the chance. Like, the... the you know, um, Daisy asks... Is everything okay? And El May D lies to her. So, yeah. And yes. So I'm to be trivia for this episode. Yeah, Glenn Talbot stated he was asked, tasked with finding the next Captain America. This is a reference to Mace taking over the mantle in the comics. And yeah, someone else pointed out the similarity between Mace and Steve Rogers' catchphrases. And the, yeah, the episode's title is a reference to Mace's superhero name, The Patriot, in the comics. Luke Cage fans will recognize the bullet the sniper uses as a Judas bullet. Yeah. Very nicely done. And, right, the, the, um... Yeah, when Fitz Simmons, Fitzsimmons questioned Talbot about Director Mace's patron injection, Simmons asks, you restarted the Erskine program. Of course, a reference to Captain America getting his powers. And, yeah, the revelation of Director Mace being human without powers pays tribute to how the character in the comics had been similarly placed in the role of a superhero despite having no superhuman abilities. Very clever. And... Let's see. Yeah. A lot of great lines in this episode. I'm going to squeeze our prisoner like a lime wedge on dollar beer night. And the... Yeah. <laughs> there they go with the world's most conspicuous briefcase. What do you think is in there? 
could be anything. Nuclear codes, hush money, Girl Scout cookies. Agent May, with the possible exception of my mother, you are the single most intimidating woman I've ever met. And... We're not idiots. We took the bad stuff out. Well, most of it anyway. Oh, okay, so you're just mostly idiots. Let's see. General Talbot bails us out one time, then acts like we owe him a damn parade. Yeah, he did what he had to do. Though it didn't reduce his ego any. Burroughs isn't helping either. If he gets any further up Talbot's ass, he'll need a snorkel. Maybe he could go snorkeling with Fitzsimmons. And... Yeah. Um, you know the saying, if a jet crashes in the woods and there's no one to hear it, stick to the guy with super strength.